This past week, a Girl Powered event took place at Hopkinton High School. The Girl Powered Initiative seeks to encourage female participation in the robotics community and conveys the message that robotics is for everyone. Uh, we're working today to just introduce the fact that STEM or robotics is for everyone. Uh, sometimes students have a stigma about things like that may not be for me. Uh, so we try to create situations where we invite people in and help them realize that they are perfectly capable and this is for everybody. We have mentors that have come in from uh, MathWorks, WebReply, the Hopkinton Public School System. We have uh, the New England Patriots uh, Hall has a couple of people that do STEM outreach. We brought them in as well as a professor from UMass Boston. And they're here to demonstrate to people that, um, you know, again, this is for everybody and uh, you don't always have a one path to, to learn these things and, and there's a way to learn them for everybody. And uh, we also have a nice person that's coming in from a clear path for veterans who had worked in the Natick Army Labs for a long time. So diverse uh, group of professionals. A handful of representatives from numerous organizations were on the scene to get a look at some of the work and help mentor participating students. Um, so can you talk about what we're doing here today? Yes, yeah, so I, I run the Patriots Hall of Fame presented by Raytheon and we have a, a, an extensive STEM program. We have field trips come in every day and we work, Doug is our former uh, Massachusetts STEM Teacher of the Year, Doug Scott. He won that award through us and was honored at the Massachusetts STEM Summit. And so we have a relationship and uh, you know we do a lot of STEM activities at the hall. So we came up here today to help out with this awesome program that Doug is so uh, incredible with his involvement in trying to get girls involved in STEM and STEM in general. Um, and so we, we're just happy to be a part of it. This is the robotics station we've set up. So how are you guys acquainted with any of the robotics projects? Yeah, so we are from MathWorks and uh, we uh, primarily make two products named uh, MATLAB and Simulink. Uh, what we would like to do is actually uh, get students kind of like uh, know about MATLAB because it's something that they can actually start uh, trying out on their own. It's a very user friendly program uh, that helps them kind of uh, get used to STEM uh, related courses. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to show them this robot. Uh, actually, that has been programmed with Simulink, one of our products itself. Uh, that's our basic goal, just like kind of try something on their own at home or at school, wherever they can. MathWorks essentially is a scientific computing company, so we have this product called MATLAB, which essentially is like a big giant calculator. But essentially with the help of that, you can uh, use it in multiple areas. You can use it in robotics, you can uh, also used for simulations in the automobile industry, etc. So what we are trying to do here is show them a little glimpse of what MATLAB does and get them interested in areas like robotics, machine learning, etc. To learn more about the company, you can definitely go to www.mathworks.com. But if you want to try MATLAB on your own, there is a website that's here learn to code.mathworks.com and you can just uh, go ahead and try it out we all have a really good documentation with a lot of examples so you can just uh, uh, go through it and see any examples that excite you and then just uh, try coding on your own well this is a this is an exceptionally good program uh, it's been a, you've got a lot of good kids here I, I work on some of it with Doug on some of the uh, competitions. I come down and function as a judge. And so that gives me an opportunity to see the quality of what's going on. And it's just really, really superb. Uh, Hopkinton, Hopkinton should be really proud of what their kids are doing over here. Some of the activities included paper coding, programming Lego robots, a presentation, by the MathWorks VEX organization and getting a look at the work of the Hopkinton High School Hopkinetics team. Uh, 
this is this is a Lego robotics thing, and I was just helping program it for today um, for the pe people to use for projects. And cool. Uh, what got you into robotics? Uh, I've just always liked it, and I've always wanted to go to MIT, and so I want to and work at NASA and stuff, and as like a engineer, and I've been doing it for a while, and I work at the middle school, and I want to come to the high school next year. I'm replacing all the motors with the new system. It's VEX5, and Tyler. Yeah, and I'm currently rebuilding our lift mechanism to make it higher quality and more sturdy. Terrific. Uh, how long have you been uh, working on this project? Uh, we started in September and I have a competition in November that we're getting ready for. Awesome. And uh, how long have you guys been doing robotics for? I've been doing it for four years and with the Vex Robotics I've been doing it for three years. This is my last year doing it. I've been doing it for three years as well. And uh, how do you guys like it? Do you think this is something you want to get involved with in the future and in college? Yeah, definitely. I want to be like an engineer, me and Tyler, same engineering field, aerospace. And we both find robotics as like a foundation for engineering, so that's why we chose robotics. And I, hopefully this will help us in the future, in, like, in terms of experience. Uh, this is our robot. We're designing it to play our game, Turning Point for this year. And the objective of the robot is to take in the balls. I have them go up the system, and over here, Shashir's working on the flag, which will then use to uh, shoot the balls at the flag in order to score points. And then um, our other teammates are helping us find parts and build different mechanisms to flip caps and do different things to score for the game. Currently, our robot is almost complete. We have different components done, but it's coming along nicely. Terrific. How long have you been working on it for? Uh, we've been working on it for a few weeks, actually, since the start of the summer for a few months. Our team has just come together at the start of the school year and it's been going really great. We've been working every day and it's been a lot of fun. So right now we are doing the VEX in the Zone competition and for this competition we built a um, shooting mechanism and this shooting mechanism is, has a gear and it has um, it's rubber band loaded. So this thing goes back it's a lot of pressure, so I just like push it back. And then there's a ball, and when it, when it push, goes back all the way, it shoots out because there's a slip gear here, what? and it hits the flags on the field, and that's how we score our points. Cool, and uh, how long have you been working on this for? Um, for this one, I've, we've been working since September, and I've been doing robotics since ninth grade. So we are paper coding uh, one person basically has to get the other person to draw these shapes on their blank side uh, by giving their, their in, inputting commands, basically. Can we demonstrate? Terrific. Yeah, you can demonstrate if you want. Okay, sure. You read the commands, I'll draw. So, so she's going to be reading the commands, so writing the code. And then fill in. And then down. And then fill in. And then write and fill in. Write, fill in. Down, fill in. Down, fill in. And this just demonstrates how the uh, computers take in the coding language and the instructions one step at a time. Yeah, my name is Henry Hildreth. I'm actually from Natick. Uh, Doug Scott and I worked together and started the robotics team at Natick High School in 2005 or 2006. Doug was also a hockey coach at that time and uh, I ended up providing as much time as I could every week to help him drive the, the program. My oldest son was one of the founders of it and after he graduated in 2008 I just stayed with the Natick Robotics and uh, because it's a, it's a program that does things for kids that just can't be done any other way. The, uh, when Doug came down here, I got involved in, in helping him with care, but the kids do learn some technology, which is important, but the most important lessons they learn are how to plan and execute a complex thing as part of a team. And they also learn how to do conflict resolution better than most adults, because if you have six kids working on a project, you're going to have six different ideas at a minimum of how to do anything. 
and the kids learn very quickly how to come down to one concept that they're going to follow, and everybody supports it. So the kids that, that participate in this for three or four years end up with skills and insights that you just can't get any other way. And what we've seen in Natick and what, what you're going to see in Hackney is the kids that go through this process are going to be highly successful in college and they're going to have, invariably, they're going to go after career paths that allow them to apply the lessons they've learned to be really, really productive. So, uh, I think it's an exciting thing to do for kids and it's really important and that's why I'm here. To find out more about Girl Powered, head over to girlpowered.com.